Hey y'all, hey it's time for a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Uncle Bub's Bale Buckle Beer Reviews. Now last few Wednesdays I've been doing head to head comparisons on, uh, on different beers. We'll take a break from that this week. Uh, today I'm going to do a beer that uh, one of my buddies at work has been asking me to do for a long time. Um, I actually reviewed this beer, it's been a little over two years ago, but he wanted me to do, and I haven't, I haven't really had any since then, it's a Yingling. Yingling Traditional Lager. This stuff is brewed by the DG Yingling and Son Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Um, this brewery claims to be America's oldest brewery since 1829 is what it says. Um, this Yingling Traditional Lager is a 4.4% alcohol by volume. Um, so we're gonna do this today on a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. Now, this has a twist top on it. And it's a green bottle beer. I don't know if you can see, it's a green bottle beer. And it's a little bit of a darker, darker color. Ooh, that, that neighbor's horse. That pretty amber color. Look at that. Nice head. And bubbles floating up through there. Pretty brew. It's a pretty brew. Now, they claim to be America's oldest brewery. But I swear, y'all, up until about 10 years ago, I'd never heard of Yingling. Didn't know how to pronounce it or nothing. It just started saying it. Um, you know, in, in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, I guess that's where it originated from. I'm not really sure. I'm just assuming that's where, you know, they've been the whole time. But anyway, whatever. Uh, it smells good. That's, that's a beautiful beer, man. Got dark amber color, bubbles just floating up through there. It's got coarse bubbles all around the all around the mug there. The uh, top has a little fine bubbles on top here. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's got a nice. mild light light bread type flavor and y'all man it's just a beautiful day it's just too pretty to uh, to be doing this inside today I got the sun shining I got a couple of days off so thought I'd do this outside I got the sun shining on me man it's just beautiful blue sky I'm out here in my backyard part of my backyard I got about four acres here in Bell Buckle and I just kind of pick a random place to come out here and do these anyway all right so today on a wet your whistle Wednesday it's actually y'all probably ain't seeing this till sometime in May it's actually April 20th today and uh, man it's just a gorgeous gorgeous day just beautiful nice little breeze blowing anyway this yingling traditional lager is for all American workers hey appreciate what y'all do y'all work hard y'all work hard to support yourselves and your families just like I do I work 12 hour days y'all and you know, when I get a couple of days off, I like to enjoy them, have a beer or two. So, uh, if you're working today, hey, this yingling is for you. Thank you, American workers, for all you do. Wow. It's been a while since I've had one of these. It is extremely mild. Man, just as smooth as it can be. 4.4% alcohol by volume. And by the way, this uh, this yingling is also from my buddy Justin Foster, who's been wanting me to, to review this. Say, hey, Justin, hey, this is for you, my friend. Uh, wow, really smooth. I mean, just extremely smooth. It's got a I don't, I don't taste any bitterness in it at all. Now the wind's gonna pick up. I hope it don't mess up my speakers too bad. Um, no bitterness, smooth, delicious. Um, a light, very, very light. Uh, I can't put my finger on it, y'all.
neighbor's horse don't like me being over here, evidently. I disturbed him or something. Anyway, it's a very good beer. Very good beer. If you've not tried a Yingling, uh, give it a try. I mean, they're good. The, the alcohol content is, is lower than what I usually like. I usually like a, at least a five. Oh, <laughs> you like that catch? <laughs> Wind blew my bottle over. <laughs> oh man, I tried to put my bottle up there for my buddy Chad. He likes to see the he likes to see the bottles. But then the wind's wind's gonna give it fits today. Back up there anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's been Wet Your Whistle Wednesday for this week. Hey, I'll be back tomorrow for a Thirsty Thursday. If y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug over here somewhere. Y'all can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Trying a different beer for you, letting you know what I think about it. Most of all, saluting an American worker, letting y'all know that I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for what you do. Um, hit like, share, notification bell, like crap. Leave me a comment below. What do you think about the Yingling traditional lager? This is the only one I've had. Now, they, they, they had other ones there in cans. I got this at Kroger in Murfreesboro. They had, uh, I think it was a Golden Pilsner and uh, black and tan, I think it was the other two they had there. They were in single 16 ounce cans. And I didn't get them because they were, they were selling them in singles. I should have got a couple of them, but I already spent 30 bucks on the beer that I got there because I got a variety. I got two variety six packs and a six pack of this. Um, and my hands were full, I didn't have a buggy. So I <laughs> if you've tried some of the other Yinglings, hey, let me know what you think about them. Let me know what you think about the traditional lager and if you like the black and tan or the golden pilsner or any other yingling uh, varieties, what do you think about them? Leave me a comment. Hey, love and appreciate y'all. Uh, y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.